All right. Good night again, everyone. This is a well due or I say overdue video. You know, in previous videos, I've taught you the different parts of the window, different shades of the glass. And I've also taught you how to work out the glass size because everything is centered around the glass. No, because you'd have learned the different parts, the top rail, the bottom rail, the lock style, interlock, jam, header or header, track. You understand? You would have known or familiarized yourselves with these because I've taught you eh, them in previous videos. I've shown you them. So now I'm going to teach you how to work out the size, the actual size after receiving and you have to measure in the window opening. So first thing first, you need to measure the window opening. So this is for all interesting aluminum window fabricator, those who are going into the window work and you don't have a clue where to start. If this is where you are to start. I have also numbered the videos so you can watch them in the particular order. There is a reason why I have numbered them, right? If is it that you know, you know one of the, the stage or videos, then you can go ahead and just skip to what you don't know as yet. So now the top rail and the bottom rail. These two, they go together. So whatever the top rail is, the bottom rail. So first and foremost, let us look on a simple measurement. Now, for example, let us look a, normally, as I said, I work with width times the height. So first I measure the width of the, the window. So let us work with a standard size, which is 48 by 48. Now, how much must the top rail and the bottom rail be cut? Right? So therefore, you always find half of this, half of the width. So the top rail and the bottom rail is responsible eh, for the width of the window, right? You'd have known that the top rail and the bottom rail has to deal with the width of the window. So this is the one that you focus on, this right here. So half of that is 24, so therefore you cut the top rail. We normally put T, top, and bottom rail, so I normally short right. Everybody write it different. So I normally say top and bottom rail. You divide you divide the uh, the width into two, which should be twenty four inch or two feet. So therefore, you're supposed to have two top rail and bottom rail that cut twenty four inch or two feet, right? A 48 inch by 40. Normally I work, I, I write them in a like inches. I just strictly write them in, in straight inch. Right? So some window men write like four feet or three feet, two inches. No, I'm just strictly translate everything. So therefore, two top rail, I must cut two top rail, two feet, two bottom rail, two feet. Let's give another example of the top rail and bottom rail. Uh, what if it was like said you measure the window which is not a standard measurement now 43 you get for the width 43 by say 48 so the width and the height right 43 by 48 so therefore you divide this into 2 which is 42 half of 42 is definitely 21 and half of 1 is uh -huh. So therefore, that's how me check it still. You can find an easy way. You can use a calculator. So therefore, it's 21 and a half. So therefore, you must cut the top rail, two, two pieces of top rail, 21 and a half, and two pieces of bottom rail, 21 and a half. You understand? Any quick thing that you don't understand, you can leave it in the comment section below, okay? All right, then now. So... I, I think that is it for now. I think that is it for now. Now let us move on to the lock style and the interlock. Now the lock style, so let I put top rail and bottom rail is a responsible for the width of the window. The lock and the interlock is responsible for the height of the window. 
okay so let us now look so therefore let us use again 48 by 48 which is width times height no so how much should i cut the lock style you'd have already learned what the lock style is and beg a minute please let me 